All right, what we got here is a cat cylinder. for this particular model. I'm not a hundred percent on which tractor model it is. I think it's a tilt. Everything's all nice and clean. I'll install the seals. buffer and it goes in this furthest groove. And if you'll watch on these, one side is rounded off and the other side is flat. And of course you're going to put the rounded off side towards the seal and the flat side towards the front of the groove. If you accidentally break this when you're putting it in, as long as the piece doesn't break off, you're fine. Rod seal. And normally, if oil's coming out of the front of here, this is what's bad. weir band. Some kits come with multiple weir bands. You'll use the one that fits uh, and you'll be able to tell if it's the one that fits because most of the time it I mean it's kind of like a square peg round hole kind of deal. It either fits or it doesn't uh, and it won't slide onto the rod if it's the wrong one. It's a metal clad wiper. Lock them up tight on there. Uh, I would not advise uh, beating it around in here and then beating it in. Uh, and the reason is, what you'll do is you'll shoot the Loctite down inside the, the seal grooves. And if you don't get all that Loctite out, if it does decide to set up, uh, it would be pretty bad. Now, this part is not easy, uh, the easiest thing to do. Some of the kits actually come with the tool, uh, but you're going to kind of hit down and, and, and back at an angle. You can hold socket. the way down. A little lube never hurts. And just a little bit. You want to be able to see if anything does break off or anything like that. So you don't want to gop this that in there. And uh, grease normally doesn't break down inside the oil, Vaseline wheel, so it can clog your uh, grease can clog your filters up. So using Vaseline or just regular old hydraulic oil uh, is probably the best bet. This is your O-ring backup. Uh, this particular piece is the backup.
O-ring. And the O-ring, I would take it, put a little bit of lube on it, and just kind of roll it. <clears throat> because when you're threading it in, it's going to want to move and bend and roll, and you want it to be able to to make that. And you see one part is going to be standing up. And then you can take, put the O-ring in and just work it around. And don't get frustrated with when you're doing it. It doesn't come as easy. I've been doing this for a good while. Piston, piston seal, now if you do it this way you won't have to crimp it, I guess you can loop this part up also make it a little easier on the install. This one's not bad to put on. Some of them are a little harder, but what you can do is if you're able to push this on with your fingers and it doesn't stretch any, you'll be able to slide it in there. If not, what you'll need to do is take a, some electrical tape and run it around here two or three times, maybe four, and then use a, a hose clamp, worm clamp, whatever you want to call it, and tighten it down until you see the electrical tape start to come out of the little rivet holes or the little holes, ridged holes on the worm clamp. Rear band piston seal. Lock them up tight. that Loctite sets up, that bolt will be a part of that. Alright, so what I'm going to do is throw a little lube here. We've already lubed our ring, but we'll put a tiny bit more. And our case has already been ball honed and cleaned. We have a nice cross hatch inside there.
be honest, you don't want to watch it. Set back up. We'll try to pop out if you don't have a nice bevel on the front. Not too much. But it's actually making a group up front. Pour that over and sit in. Normally, they <laughs> give you a little bit but just being a brand new case and all that good stuff. Test it, 3500 PSI and call her good. Fast booth out.